it's that time once again to consign. So I have a bunch of stuff still backed up in my closet that needs to find a new home and needs to go. Goodbye. So head to the local thrift store to try to pack up as much as I can since I'm going to make it worth my while to head over to the jackets. And right away, I look and see that they are way too expensive. This one, they wanted 28 bucks for this jacket, off-brand. I look at some of the other jackets, and, you know, they just they were a little out of my price range. So, head over to the swimsuits. And immediately, I find this cute, cupshe top. It's about five bucks, so that goes in the puppy. Um, look at some other ones. They were just okay, nothing too crazy, but um, some of the prices on them were just a little out of my price range. Especially that new one with tags. I think they wanted like, I don't know, 12 or 13 dollars, but yeah. I looked at the tag and that was about how much it was, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, didn't find anything else, so I moved on to the shoes. Shoes were way, way overpriced. Um, I don't know if anybody's gone shoe shopping lately, but some of them, they were charging like what you would pay the discount store. These Uggs, they wanted $50 for these Uggs, so I was like, goodbye. I uh, looked at some other shoes, get a nice close-up right there of that toe. Yeah, look at that toe. <sighs> hard to video in here just because there's like weirdos that there's one weird guy that was following me around so I had to try to record discreetly see that was a Via Spaga and something else but wasn't anything I usually I try to go for just leather shoes in general moving on uh, hard goods section I'm looking at stuff I always love to check out the vases this cute bottle and cup matching cup <laughs> and uh looking at the plates nothing too crazy looking at the mugs this one was pretty cool i didn't know if it was ray done or whatever but um lo and behold looking at the bottom of it it is from tj maxx so now we're back on the shelf um looked at some other mugs this one was cute so put that one back and then I saw this little trivet plate it's cute uh, it might have been homemade though because the back of it was kind of funky looking looking around at the plates this cool platter down at the bottom it is vintage made in Japan they wanted four bucks for it still nice but I just thinking about shipping I, I had to let it go um, moving on, looking at the baskets. I always love baskets. There was this cute drindle. It's, um, it's like a German a holiday candle, uh, sort like a candle fan. You put the candles in it and then it, the heat from the can. It's really cool actually. It's a very cool idea, but they wanted about nine bucks for that and it was just a little too much for me. Too, too rich for my taste hanging on to it for somebody else's Christmas. Nothing else here. I don't think I found it. Oh, the, another cute mug, but the uh, make was covered up with a sticker, so I put that back. Um, get some nice shots of plates. And there was this other cute mug. It was Cat, Cat Pacino. Had to get that. Let's see what else they got there. Nothing, nothing too rich. And then uh, finally went over the pants and I found this baby. Yes. So I looked deeper into the pants. I found Lafayette 1 for 8, which is a great brand. They wanted 15. And Celine. Uh, so yeah. I've got everything back. It's washed and cleaned. Some of these are new with tags, so I don't need to wash them. Um, this is the stuff that I found from the Salvation Army. It's a... Sarah Pancini, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, paid about $12.99. Hopefully I get about $60 for this. Um, if I don't, then still, it's, uh, I'd pro I know I'm going to be making more than $12. So 
I'm not worried about that. This one is new with tags. It's a Rebecca Taylor Lovey. And you can see it's fairly new. I did look up comps online. It's in it, it's selling for about $80 to $90. So I'm not terribly worried about it. I might just keep it because <laughs> it is so cute. Uh, or I might sell it. I don't know. Um, these are the rest of the stuff that I have that is going to go to thread up. So this one is the one that I found from the other haul. It's the Sport Max pants. They're high waisted. I was able to get um, pretty much most of the dirt out. However, I did have a mishap with a little bit of blue. So hopefully that doesn't count against me. Either way, if they don't, if they return it back for condition, I'm really not worried about it because it's free either way. Um, this one, uh, actually I found both of these at the same Salvation Army not too long before that. This, believe it or not, is da -da -da -da, Valentino. And it's on a Valentino. So you got double Valentino. What, what? Valentino on a Valentino. Can't go wrong. Another one I'm sending in, Piazza Siempone. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. They're just like a really cute capri. I am going to steam uh, this one and this other shirt here just because I think that uh, ThreadUp appreciates it if you send it in. Because uh, when they take pictures, they're not they're not going to get these wrinkles out. And people are going to want to buy it uh, looking better than that. <laughs> this, okay, so long story short, I've sent this shirt three times into ThreadUp. Or not thread up. I'm sorry. Um, the real real. Did I say thread up? Oh my gosh. No, the real real. So I've had. I'm pinning the the shirt like this so they see where the tag is. Because every time they've sent it back, they're like, "There's no tag," and I'm like, "There is a tag. It's under the the thing, the seam." This is another Prada, although I don't think that they're gonna have any problem finding the tag on this one. I am gonna steam this just because it's a little wrinkly. I'm kind of sad about this one. It is one of mine. So it is the Kugi, Kuji, whatever. But um, I just, I haven't gotten much use out of it. And I'm doing a, a closet purge. So it's one of mine that I don't mind sending out. Another one, this is one of mine. It's Le Compagne. Le Compagne. Uh, again, I just didn't wear it enough. I just love it. It was so cute. And it's got the little military buttons. But yeah, just... I love, I am a sucker for oversized sweaters. This one, Betsy Johnson, it is an older tag. So she used to do like really cool pieces, kind of like the Isaac Mizrahi, uh, you know, Vera Wang thing. But now she's kind of gone mainstream. But this is one of her older pieces. It does say New York on it. Most of her new stuff, I think most of you know, the tag is like purple or pink and kind of sparkly and it doesn't look anything like that. This one I am sad to see leave. So cute. It's a Diane von Furstenberg and it is a size 10, which is very rare to find, but I just love Diane von Furstenberg. Such a good piece right here. But like I said, if I didn't wear it this past year, I, d I don't need it, so. Another one that I had, Club Monaco, didn't wear it. It's silk. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I just didn't wear it. This one, too, new with tags. Oh, it's a Reese dress. New with tags. You got to see this. This is crazy. So it had gone from 400 to 300 to $200, and then it ended up at the uh, thrift store, and that's where I found it. I never wore it. Didn't have anywhere to wear it, though, uh, unfortunately. I might might rethink this, but I doubt it. I, I do have a wedding to go to, but it's not going to be for at least another year, or until this pandemic blows over. Bleh. And last and least, Rag and Bone size 8 V neck. Uh, very beautiful little sheath dress. Doesn't have pockets though. I, get, I gotta have pockets. It just didn't have any pockets. If this had pockets, I'd keep it because I'm a sucker for pockets, but it's beautiful. 
not saying anything, you know, it's beautiful. But yeah, all this going to consignment uh, before I send it in, I do manifest it. And then I put, I keep track of how much I paid. So that way when I get the, you know, the sale back, I know how much I spent on each item and my margin of profit. So that's my stuff. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, like, and subscribe. Do whatever you want. Be safe.